Hey y'all, Kyle, AA0Z here, coming to you from my basement. I was at Hamvention this past weekend and was watching Rob, W5ITR, I'll put a picture of Rob here, uh, contact Carlos on Parachute Mobile and he had a chest strap with his radio, an elk antenna, log periodic log antenna, and he was knocking off contacts with uh, Carlos right and left, and people were lining up behind him to, to get a contact with Carlos. So I had seen Rob put together or make satellite contacts at Huntsville, and I thought that that was pretty cool. I've always found working the birds awesome and uh, a cool part of the hobby. So when I saw Rob doing what he does best, I was like, hey, I could probably put together a kit for satellite work. So I came home here and lo and behold, I have everything I need to put a satellite kit together. So I have an old uh, Kenwood, it's a uh, TM, V7A, that is dual receive. So I had this, this just laying around, excuse the mess of, of the workbench, I've got a ton of stuff going on. But anyway, I had that laying around. I have an elk antenna here that I'm not doing anything with. I had some, some decent uh, LMR 400, I'm sorry, uh, RG 400 coax that I put a new end on, so I've got some more on order with the correct ends. But yeah, I have everything that I need here to at least make a satellite contact. So I went on printables.com and I searched on the V, the TM V71A and I found someone, uh, Ryan, K-I-7-Q-E-K, I found his printables uh, repository, and I emailed him and said, hey, you know, I see that you've got uh, some rails, and I printed off these rails here, and I just asked him about satellite work, and he basically gave me all the information, sent me a bunch of pictures, so I'm grateful to Ryan to get me up to speed. And then I contacted Rob and said, hey, I think I've got some things that I uh, um, want to try here. And he gave me some information. So right now, I am printing uh, Ryan's elk uh, antenna holder. Because this antenna holder, this PVC antenna holder here, is a little heavy. So this one is on Ryan's printables page. So if you have an elk antenna... Uh, you can go out there and check him out. Again, his call sign is KI7QEK, Queen Echo King. I just wanted to make a little blog here, a vlog, not a blog, a vlog of, I think I'm going to try and work some satellites. Actually, I'm going camping this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, and I'm going to try and make my first satellite QSO this weekend. I don't know if it's going to be possible because I hear that the birds are a little crazy on the weekends and it being a holiday weekend here in the United States might be a little crazy. But anyway, that's what I'm going to try and do. I've got all the equipment. I'm going to put it all together. We're going to see what happens. Also want to say I'm watching a bunch of Sean's YouTube channel, uh, KX9X, he's got a ton of information about satellite work and uh, just FM repeater satellites and just a ton of information. Also, Ryan gave me and Rob gave me a bunch of information on phone apps to download. I think that I downloaded uh, one called, what is this called? Look for Sat, Satellite Tracker, it's on Android. Look for sat satellite. So I'm going to try and look at that this weekend and see what passes are coming across. And it's got a amateur radio filter, so it just uh, filters on amateur radio. And then Rob sent me a bunch of programming for the 71A, so I'm going to.
program that today and see if I can find my programming cable. But um, yeah, that is what's happening here. Again, look for more satellite stuff on the channel. Maybe I'll do a, a vlog type video on uh, my progression on getting into satellites. So anyway, happy Memorial Day, 73.